The reason why media cloud, why clouds uh, will dominate media is as follows. The first reason is the uh, diversity of options. See, in the olden days that I described, when everything was standardized and harmonized, things could be basically, there wasn't very much competition on the technology level. Uh, but that is now changing, and so all these elements that I showed you will be provided in multiple forms by multiple companies in multiple countries, and it'll be much more dynamic, more competitive, more diverse. Standardization, or the lack of standardization, is going to be a major factor for clouds, because instead of having to agree on common standards, which will be totally impossible. The cloud provider will provide the translation devices between the services, between the different technology standards, uh, whether it's storage or content or applications or whatever. It's kind of, uh, so you don't have to have standardization. Um, now, a third element is the convenience to the user. See, right now, if you have multiple technology solutions, you could do this on the consumer level. The fourth element is law and regulation. Here, the logic is as follows. It means, though, that in a globalized media system that a media provider has to conform to the rules and regulations of different countries, not only on morality, but also on libel, on copyright, what have you. My fifth factor is finance. When you have all these providers, whether they're applications or content modules, storage, what have you, they have to be paid. Advertising is not the only mechanisms of being paid for. There have to be some flows of revenue kind of moving and distribution. And the cloud at the center, in effect, acts as the settlements and account mechanism. Marketing, brand, branding, and quality control, similarly important in a way that Apple iStore is giving you some kind of confidence that what is going to work is not going to blow up your system and it has been tested according to some, some criteria and whatever you have some brand, a trusted brand or a brand for cheapness or a brand for daring or whatever it is that people come to that brand. Privacy and security similarly, although clouds obviously have privacy problems of their own, but they can also give you some protection uh, of security and privacy if they so, they so wish. And lastly, personalization, which is kind of using the data that they collect enormously along the lines that Google has been doing now for years, and applying this across the board data collected in one kind of activity to other activities and making, personalizing the media the activity.